At this moment, I would like to acknowledge uh, a very special person in the audience tonight. Um, I'm completely honored that he's here, and I'm also very honored that he has invited uh, myself and the musicians behind uh, me to play at the historic Newport Jazz Festival uh, in August. And that is Mr. George Ween. Thank you, George. Uh, my name is Ryan Truesdell, and I am here in George Ween's apartment. And uh, George uh, invited me to bring the Gil Evans Centennial Project, and uh, we'll be performing a bunch of music that Gil had written throughout his whole career. We're, we're touching on a few works that he had done uh, for the Claude Thornhill Orchestra in the 40s uh, and early 50s, and some things that he had done for himself in the, in the mid-60s. In, in addition to uh, these new works that I found that have never been uh, recorded before that we recorded on our new record. Well, let me uh, shine a question I have a tremendous level of respect for what you were doing, and uh, she wasn't just recommending somebody for a gig. She knew you were doing something that she felt was important and had a significance that would relate to the image of what we're trying to work with at Newport. Many people feel that uh, jazz repertory can become like a museum. How do you justify playing Gil's music from the 40s and even you said one from the 30s and then the 50s and the 60s, without it having uh, some sort of a ancient quality or a museum-like quality, it still have a freshness to what's happening in music today and tomorrow. I guess my thought was that I wanted somewhat modern musicians playing it, so like musicians that were now that would kind of take a new look at it and, but also would be extremely respectful of Gill and his writing. And, you know, in all honesty, I don't know a lot of music that I could have done this with besides Gill's, because you listen to these arrangements that were written in 1947, and they sound like they could be written tomorrow. Gill Evans was best known for his association with Miles Davis. Do you find that Gill Evans is known beyond his association with Miles Davis? Um, I think that once you get past the, the four records that Miles did uh, with Gil, I think the cliff kind of drops off a little bit as far as people's knowledge of what Gil was doing. Um, and part of the reason that I wanted to present the music that I did is that we aren't really focusing on the Miles. And I think that's, a, that's really important to me because all of the music that we know from those records, Miles Ahead, Porgy and Best, Sketches of Spain, and Quiet Nights, came out of the Claude Thornhill Orchestra. And even before that, when he was writing for Skinny Ennis. And I think, hopefully, my goal is that it will kind of hit people to the stuff outside of the Miles records and they can start exploring Gill on both sides of Miles. Playing jazz is not that difficult to no. play. Yeah. Playing it uniquely and with originality and creativity, that is difficult. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are looking for at Newport. The evolving of the music without copying what's happened before. Now, you in presenting the music of Gil Evans, in my mind, believe it or not, are part of that. And it's the first I have seen of so-called jazz repertory where you are relating to the advancement and the creativity of the music. So the, what you've done, and it fits right in with what I'm trying to do at Newport. Well, n to me, Newport is a historical institution. I mean, it's, it's listening to all these records that all were recorded live at Newport. You know, the Duke Ellington with Paul Gonzalez and Miles and Monk and uh, Louis Armstrong. I mean, it was just this kind of institution that was part of jazz history. And, and for me to have that opportunity at this point in my career and, and to also be able to present Gill uh, is, a, is a great honor. And, you know, and that's, that's what is so great about what you're doing for younger artists like myself and, 
and like Darcy James Argue and people that are starting to make names for themselves but haven't, you know, blown up into the mainstream is you're giving us kind of the Newport validity and a, and a platform for us to kind of launch off of and, and kind of really start our careers. And I think from what I know of the history of Newport, you've done that throughout the whole history. So uh, this is Ryan Truesdell again, and, and I really look forward to seeing all of you at the Newport Jazz Festival this year in August of 2012, where I will be presenting the Gil Evans Centennial Project and premiering and presenting a lot of Gil's music for the very first time at the Newport Festival, which is a great honor, and I'm, I'm really excited, and I hope you all will be there to experience it with me.